Hey guys, we're here today with Samson Sound and Lighting with the brand new L-Class system from QSC. We are so excited. We have the LA-112s that we get to unbox and we're also going to show you guys um, the unboxing and the setup of the array frame. Mm -hmm. So first we're going to start off with the array frame and take a look. Join us. So now that we have the LA-112 array frame out of the box, which is used for flying, but today we're going to deploy it in a ground stack. So we need the ground stack adapter kit. So. We have our bumpers, um, which are the first thing that we're going to put on here. So to put these on, um, we are going to bring our array frame over to our sub. And the first step is to turn it upside down. Normally you want the hooks right side up, but um, to put the bumpers on, you're going to flip it upside down and we're gonna rest it here. All right, each of these is gonna go along the front and the back. Now that we have the bumpers on the array frame, it's time to secure the array frame to the sub. In this case, we're using a KLA-181, uh, but this will work with any of the QSC subs that have an M10 thread adapter on it. To do that, we're gonna take this piece and secure it into the sub. So you also wanna make sure that your array frame is on the sub in the right direction. So the mo two most important things are that the hooks are up, so that it is right side up, and that they are also, when you're doing the ground stack deployment, that they are facing towards the back. Um, these are not gonna act as our primary hooks. So you wanna shift this over a little bit so we can thread this in here. Mm -hmm. And another helpful thing here is you always want flat surface to flat surface. So this side here is flat, as is our adapter piece. So now that the adapter is into the sub with, the, with this little screw nub on the outside, we're gonna take the flat part and the flat part and line it up with this screw hole. Insert your screw. And now our frame is secured to the sub. So now that you have your um, array frame here on the sub, we're going to attach our angle adjustment arms. There's a couple of key pieces to know which direction these go on. There's some screen printing here on the front that has QSC's logo as well as the adjustment angles. So you wanna make sure that these are on the outside as well as right side up. Um, this is gonna make sure you're lined up correctly, but also you need to read these numbers to make sure that you have the correct angle. So you're gonna come in, this one, since I'm right side up on the right here, is gonna come on this side. We're going to pull this pin out. We are also going to pull this pin here out so that it is ready for us to use. This is going to come on here, and the first pin that you're going to put in is the one in the front. All right, we want to choose our angle here. In this case, we're going for a zero angle, so we want to line up the zero angle hole with the hole that is in the frame and then you have a button here on the end that you're gonna press as you insert it. And this side is done. One thing that I love about this is that all the pins store in the array frame, so there were no parts that can go missing. Everything from the front pin to the back pin, mm -hmm. when you use them, they store back in the frame. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now for the most exciting part is to get the LA-112s ground stacked on the sub. Insert the hooks into the receiver on the ground stack adapter and set you to receive and hit lock. Again, put the hooks in. Hooks on the front. Lock uh, the lower one. Hit the push angle. You want to do that now? Mm -hmm. 
One of my favorite things about the new LA-112s is how easy it is to adjust the angle. Um, we have these buttons here on the side that are really easy to push even just with just one person, even on these 12s. You're gonna push in from the side and then you just pull up with the handles on the back. And you have here, this is six degrees and we're gonna go up one more for our ground stack deployment. We're gonna push again and then pull up so that we are at 1.5 degrees.